Five personality traits shared by people with an Aquarius zodiac sign. The Aquarius is complex, sometimes paradoxical, and always in their head. There are five particular personality traits everyone needs to know about Aquarius, the 11th zodiac sign in astrology. Any person born between January January 21 and February 18 is considered a water bearer. Although the nickname of an Aquarius involves water, we are actually a fixed air sign. 1. Giving us alone time is not the same as ignoring us. We Aquarians tend to need considerable private time to recharge, especially after an intensive social interaction. Given the freedom, we will casually take that time and then re-enter the common space. If you need time alone as well we're more than happy to provide that. Unfortunately, some of our loved ones grow resentful and will refuse to make time for us out of spite, as if our need for alone time were a slight against them. This kind of behavior is unnecessary and hurtful, so please don't do it. On the other hand, we should mention that some of you refuse to give us our space for fear of neglecting us. We appreciate your good intentions, but remember that we know what we need, and if we have made that known we will not punish you later for respecting our space. If our need for space is disconcerting to you, reflect on why and own those feelings. Our desire to constantly improve ourselves for ourselves and those we love. 2. We hide our emotions because we're afraid, but not of you. The Aquarius soul is full of curiosity, far more so than fear. A less delicate way. To put this would be, we're not afraid of you. We mean that in the best possible way. That said, I'm going to do what is so hard for every Aquarius in the history of ever, and I'm going to open up to you. The one thing people with our zodiac sign fear more than anything else in the world is a vulnerability, and it's not necessarily because we're frightened by what you might do once we're open, but what we will do. Unlike those under other signs, like our Pisces friends, we feel lost in a state of vulnerability and can have a volatile reaction the air signs are known for. If you never understood us being categorized as air signs, now you do. We don't want to lose our cool and turn into a terrifying tornado, but it's liable to happen when we're fully exposed. The best thing that you can do for us in emotionally intense situations is be our rock. Set the example of cool and collected, and use whatever skills to have to make us feel that even if our inner world is issuing a tornado watch, our outer world is solid and peaceful. 3. Yes, we're intellectuals, but we also love those who aren't. Aquarians are big picture thinkers, and because of that, we know that the world cannot run on intellectualism alone. Intelligence can be expressed in more ways than one. Whether you're book smart, street smart, have a high emotional IQ, or can create woodworks of art, you have a contribution to make that is no less or more valid than our own. Let's face it, everyone, if only Aquarians existed there would be a lot of missed details, not to mention the things that wouldn't get done just. Because we were preoccupied with other things that aren't necessarily more important, but more important to us. We also really appreciate the grounding we get from more practical signs like the Virgo. Life isn't just about thinking, life is also about doing. Sometimes we need a little reminder. 4. We can't stand cruelty, nor will we tolerate it. When you see an injustice taking place, what do you do? The Aquarius won't stand to see somebody being bullied and won't hesitate to take action, although we will try to make sure we're taking an appropriate and safe action. Unfortunately, our drive to defend sometimes creates conflict when we think our friends or family are being treated poorly. We've been known to confront in-laws, friends of friends, and really anyone spreading injustice, whether or not it was deemed socially acceptable to approach them. I just love you. You'll hear this from us when you try to admonish us for putting on our superhero capes and coming to the rescue. Boundaries and limits can be hard for us, so be patient. But of course, don't hesitate to tell us where your boundaries are. We genuinely do care about them, and if you tell us how to channel our protective energy better next time we'll take it to heart. 5. We can feel your energy, so please be mindful. Not everyone is keen on sharing their feelings or doing so before taking some time to process. We Aquarians understand that. Regardless though, we can feel your energy. Aquarians tend to be highly empathic and we will, without realizing it, take on your feelings as our own. We're incredibly sensitive to strong emotions, whether joy or sorrow. 
As such, it would be incredibly helpful to us if you checked in with yourself before spending time around us. What energy are you bringing into our space or interaction? You don't need to isolate yourself if you're feeling strongly, but please do give us a heads up so that we're prepared and don't get stuck wondering, why am I feeling this way all of a sudden? Because of our sensitivity though, you might as well just come forward and tell us what's going on, and honestly, we're very good problem solvers, so we'll be happy to help.